Thank you all for clicking our upload. We're down here at High Valley Speedway tonight. I have the UMP modified here. And Shane's got his modified here. Chad's not coming because they're not running uh, late models tonight and you don't have a modified motor at the moment. So late models don't run until tomorrow night. It's a two night show down here. Uh, modifies tonight, but no modifies tomorrow. And uh, late models tomorrow, but no modifies. When we got the car out, we just got to set tire pressure and get our gear ready and we'll be good to go for the night. We'll go up here in a minute and sign in and check the track out. Here's a look at High Valley Speedway. Pretty good. So I got the checks back here for the winners tonight. We're gonna take them up and put them on display in front of the flag stand. If you guys need uh, checks for your race tracks, get a hold of Fantastic Designs and Graphics, and she'll hook you up. Here's the checks. They look pretty good. Get a hold of her if you need checks. This place is filling up. I figured it'd be as many cars here, but there is. They got a pretty good turnout tonight. Chief Daniel, I'm Alley at the Ballet, night number one. Appreciate everyone being here. Uh, I'm going to go through the running order first. The um, sprints are going to come out, put heat in their motor after the mini wedges are done with their feature. Then it'll be modifieds up for hot lap qualified. Then the sprints are going to come back out for hot laps. Then it'll be sport mods, street stocks, four cylinders. And then the rest of the night, it'll be sprints, modifieds, sport mods, street stocks, four cylinders. 22 modifieds signed in. Top six is automatically locked into the feature. You have to run a dash if you qualify in the top six. Everybody else said heat race. It should be top five out of the heat race, top two out of the concert. Go time for qualifying.
not third, but I got something going on with the carburetor. It is uh, staying idled up. Like when I'm letting off the gas, it's still giving the car gas like it's staying idled up. And the gas ain't hanging on it. I'm not sure what's going on. It's, uh, it's sucking air or what. I've never had to do this before. So uh, I know the throttle ain't hanging on it at all or sticking. But I got an issue. I need to figure that out because when I'm entering the turn, I hit the center turn, it's still throttling me up. Not in a good way. Like it's tearing me in too much. I need to lift a little bit, but like I got lift to make up for it to get the floor to turn and throttle back into it. It's kind of weird. It's kind of hard to explain, but the throttle is screwing me up on the center entry. Changed the plate out on the carburetor. It kind of looked like it was uh, warped a little bit, so we stuck the other one on there. And we took it off. So uh, I don't know when I changed the gas chair and stuff the other day if it, if it wouldn't seal back up. It had a little bit of dirt on the gasket or what it was. So we switched it out. We stuck the other one on. We're gonna try it and hope it fixes that problem. And then we got the battery on charge. I don't put fuel in it. And we ground uh, both rear tires. I just gotta charge the battery up and set air pressure uh, about go time because it's pretty cool here tonight. You guys, I don't know if you can see, but the dew on top of the car. So uh, when it starts getting cool out and the dew sets in, so the air pressure changes a little bit. So we're gonna set it at the last minute and then we'll be good to go. You good? Where you start? Tail. Tail? Tail. Take it off there. You got it? No, we're not. You got it. Not at all. Carburetor messing up, the lower bent. I'll be wrong. <laughs> They're hollering for you. Hey, just give her hell.
I just got done working on it to see if I can't get it fixed. I'm going to go out and run a couple laps in this uh, Australian Pursuit. Uh, basically, it's 15 laps, 15 cars. The last car on each uh, lap has to pull off. So if you're running 15th on the first lap, you got to pull it in until there's one car left as how they're doing it. So, and the winner gets an $800 uh, carbon dry shaft from Fast Shaft. So, well, it's a dry shaft and yoke combo. I value the 800 bucks, I guess. So I just wanna see if this thing will run after we did the work for the carburetor. Hopefully it'll work and we'll be all right. But uh, we got some issues and uh, we need to get them figured out. First night I've ever had, or ever had problems with this carburetor. So, we'll see. We'll find out. carburetor is not 100% right but we did do some work to it and after the feature between the feature and the Australian Pursuit we did some uh, work to it it did run 10 times better there uh, something's still not right it's with still it. idling way up a little bit but it ain't nearly as bad as it was I'm not 100% sure I'm not a carburetor guy so uh, I don't know we just uh, trying to figure it out and maybe work on it a little bit tomorrow and maybe go somewhere else uh depending on what's going on but we're getting ready to head out um unfortunately they're not running modifies down here tomorrow so we'll have to go somewhere else if we get to make it 
But if you guys haven't already, go down and hit that subscribe button. Let us know what you think. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.